at TW Ward's open house and it's called Redditch Revealed. Why is that, Mark? Well, it's obviously in Redditch. It's the Midlands and South showroom and it's the first time that I actually had an open house. So we're going to find some fantastic machines to look at. I'm very excited. Right, let's head on inside. Thank you so much, Paula. Good morning, Paula. Thank you. You know what, I always thoroughly enjoy these open houses, Mark, because it's a place where everybody is on hand and ready to help their customers. Well, yeah, and when you see the different types of machines they've got on offer here, it's absolutely fantastic. But let's have a chat with these guys. <laughs> Hello, good Hello, morning. Mate. Good morning. How are you? Morning. Good. Welcome. Now, I've got a question to ask you, Stephen. You've yeah. recently joined Ward CNC. Now, obviously, this is the open house in Redditch, yes. Redditch Revealed. But you brought a big strategy on board now. What is the strategy going forward for Ward CNC? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, okay, so it was a good opportunity. Our strategy is we've gone with uh, what we call creating and shaping our future 2023. So it's a five year strategy. It's about a, a new strategic direction for a well established company, London 40 years. And we've in initiated three key strategic objectives growth, transformation, and talent management. And then my, my role is to now that share that with everybody in the business is to drive that through the business with a new dynamic team. So uh, we're looking forward to, to driving that forward. And what are you looking to achieve by these open houses? Are you going to be doing more as well? Yeah, so I think the, what we, in order to support the, the new strategic direction is I think everybody feels we're always in Sheffield. But as you'll see today, we're here in Redditch and we want to make Sheffield and Redditch two of our prime locations equally responsible. So Redditch today is about, as it says, revealing Redditch and it's a great opportunity for customers to come and see what we have on offer with what we feel is a strong value proposition. Now, can I grab hold of you, Stuart, because I want to go and have a look at what you've got on offer. Okay. As All right. Well. Let's okay. 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 right, let's kick start. Thank you. So let's kick start with this machine, the Tacky Sour. Now, it's from Taiwan. What's so good about this machine? Tacky Sour Taiwan, thousands of machines in the market, hundreds of machines in the UK. This is a multi-axis, twin spindle, twin turret machine, ideal for components that you want to do in one hit, uh, high precision, comes from Takisawa Taiwan, a lot of Japanese influence. Right, okay, let's talk about the high end Iowa LV, which is my initial, so I like this machine. <laughs> uh, talk us through this one. Okay, your, your namesake, shall we say. <laughs> it's a lathe, it's vertical, it's, it's 450 maximum turn diameter, it's got milling on, it's a very, very small footprint, ideal for customers that have short parts, they don't need a tail stock, and you can really hit the part hard, a very, very high production machine from high And an example of a couple of those customers? Um, disc brake manufacturers, um, processing companies. So it's automotive mainly, but certainly not limited to automotive. Okay, we've got the Renishaw Equator behind me. I think I'm gonna do, try and get a little video on this one. So, so why is it attached to the machine? Okay, what we're doing here, we're inspecting a component and then we're taking the offset, we're looking for a mean value and the nominal value is then fed back to the machine to update the offset. So you're always looking for uh, the target figure on any uh, fine tolerance component. We're really covering a lot of software in a lot of our shows at the moment. Why is that? I think it's um, partly due to the, to the skill shortage and also the cost. It's taking the man out. It's automation, whether it be automation in part loading or automation through metrology in the inspection process. Okay. Um, now, another high end eyewear, the LM series. Talk us through this lathe. Okay. Another, um, but from high end eyewear, uh, from South Korea, a multi axis, uh, again, twin turret, twin spindle, y axis machine, twin 8 inch chucks, um, high capacity, very accurate used for hydraulic type components, um, small shaft work, spindle type work, anything where you bar feed in the machine, a finished component is coming out in the parts catcher at the side. Stuart, one thing that you really like about this machine, maybe unique to any other? The unique thing of this is its productivity. It's, it's fast and it's precise. That's two, sorry. <laughs> That's fine, I know, the more the merrier. Hi and I, we're LV, my range again. Okay, your range again, a bigger 800 um, diameter, Again, it's the 450, the 800, it comes from the same family, a vertical lathe with turret, with driven tool. Um, you can have the R variant or the L. The L is the control to the left, so they can butt up close to each other. Very small footprint. Again, if you're taking a component with automation, as we just discussed, so you're going from the left to the right uh, with, with either a man or a, a robot. Stuart, is it convenient for yourself? You're like an umbrella company to so many brands here. Is it more convenient to yourself for, for you to promote different brands under the one name? Yeah, 
we feel that each of our principles has a unique offering. There's very little over, overlap what we do. So behind you here, we've got from Hartford, a high uh, productivity vertical machining center, three axis machine this, but comes with fourth axis preparation. So the, we do have multiple principles, but there's very little um, overlap. So it, it works, it very much works for TW Ward. And you've got some of your, are these called your technical partners? How are you classing partners. them? Yeah, technical partners. Um, various technical partners that they bring a lot to us when we do turnkey solutions, um, when we do open houses, they're very, very supportive. Uh, in the workshop behind us, we've got the uh, mini supplier park. Again, it's it's critical that the they, people get involved in these events with us and we want to share and they want to share technology. Yeah, we're hearing this more and more. Right, next up is the Hartford Pro 800. Okay, small vertical machining centre. Here we've got Renishaw sure running a ball bar test on it, um, standard inspection procedure. Really on this machine here, it's vindicating the results that we've got from the inspection uh, report from the factory. It's mirroring it, so that's very good. We don't need to do this, but it just helps. Um, this machine has a, um, a camera in, in the machine. Oh, can we have a look at that? We can, if I, there we go. Ooh. So you see in the bottom, running live, the ball bar test. Um, that, for connectivity, you can watch that on your smartphone. It's a bit like a, uh, a dash cam in that it's recording 30 seconds. Uh, continually, it'll save if there's an error in the machine or an alarm message, it will save the 30 seconds before and after. Stuart, what's the benefit of that though? It gives visibility. Uh, it gives visibility to the uh, owner of a company. He may want to see if the machine's running. Do I need to go back this evening? Mm -hmm. um, the machine's finished. Has it stopped? Why has it stopped? It just gives remote access. And it's a bit more control, isn't it, over what's going It is going control. Yeah. Yes, it is control. Definitely. Right, let's head over to more of the Hyundai Weirs. Um, the 230L MSA. Okay, a um, simpler configuration, a single turret, um, twin spindle, um, C-axis on both sub and main, a, a compact machine, ideal for any um, subcontractor that is looking to do components in one hit. With a bar feed, you get full automation. Okay, and oh my goodness, <laughs> look at the size of this There's billet. a big boy. <laughs> okay, so a um, L400 um, MC, 1.2 meter turn length. That billet is just over half a ton. Uh, kindly donated by um, one of our customers and it's just to show the capacity because it's, so, so it's not going to be used for anything um that instance no but it's it's used for something it's used to demonstrate the capacities of the machine mm -hmm. when we do open houses when we do exhibitions at tw we like to present the machines as it would be in the real world so we don't tend to use the lighter alloys we don't tend to produce parts that have no meaning We've You're proving what you can do. It's our capabilities. It's a TW Ward bit, as I said. Yeah, that's what so, Ward so, CNC. So you say the TW Ward bit. Now, at the end of the day, we can't hide the fact that we go and speak to other companies. But we hear so often, you know, you're a great bunch of guys and you say, sell great machines. What does the TW Ward bit really mean? It's what we do. It's the support, it's the history, it's the pedigree, it's the TW Ward. We try and we don't try, we deliver. We do what we say we'll do, and we're very committed to that. We're privately owned business, and that comes right from the top, from Simon Whitworth, that if we're going to say it, we've got to do it. And that's that's what we like to do, and it's from many, many years, um, from, from Simon Whitworth and from before that, previous generation. Okay, last but by no means least is the Axile machine that's a bit over here. Talk us through this machine. It is the Axile. It's a favorite of mine. It's, it's such a high performance capacity machine. It's an 800 table, 96 tool changer, 1.3 ton from Axile, uh, Buffalo Machine Tool Company in Taiwan. Most of the componentry on that is from Europe. You've got Kessler, you've got Inner, you've got Hyden, Hino, Siemens. It's a very robust, accurate production tool and it's taken the five axis market by storm in Europe. Fabulous. Stuart, thank you. You can go and have a coffee now. Thank you. It's been a great <laughs> morning. Thank you.